If you could get a brain implant, would you? It sounds like science fiction, but for some people, it's already an option. This one's called BrainGate, and people with paralysis have used it to type, play video games, and control robot arms. The part that goes in your brain is tiny. It's about the size of Abe Lincoln's head on a penny. But for BrainGate, you have to be wired up with these Frankenstein bolts, and those could get infected, so they only give these to people who really need them. That's the story, anyway. But Elon Musk made a wireless one called Neuralink that replaces a little part of your skull. So if you're too lazy for voice commands, you can text people with your thoughts. And it's so discreet that you can pretend you're listening to your boring friend talk about their stupid kid when in reality you've merged with cyberspace and they don't even know. They already put Neuralink in a bunch of pigs and a monkey, and they're planning human trials next. Musk wants it to be like LASIK eye surgery, a few thousand dollars for a quick surgery, and you're up and walking right after. Except instead of slicing up your eyeball and shining lasers into it, a robot is sewing little wires into your brain. Which does sound a little better to me. So what could you do with a brain implant? It depends on where they plug it into your brain. One of the first areas they're testing on humans is the motor cortex, which controls your body movements. If you wave your arm right now, you're activating your motor cortex, and it's sending electrical signals down your spine into your arm muscles. But if that signal gets disrupted, say you get stabbed in the neck, or you get a brain disease like ALS, you can be paralyzed. So these brain implants can read the electrical activity directly from your brain and send it wherever you want, whether it's into a robotic arm or directly into a computer so you can type or control a mouse uh, or play Pong or even play the piano. So that's just the baseline of what Neuralink will be able to do. And it'll have about 10 times as many electrodes as the current brain gate model, which should let you make much more precise and complex movements. One of their goals is to let quadriplegics play StarCraft. The FDA even classified Neuralink as a breakthrough medical device, which would speed up clinical trials and government approval. They were planning to run human trials with quadriplegic patients in 2020, but then 2020 happened, so we got pigs instead. But the pigs still showed some big steps forward. Other than reading motor activity, Neuralink can also read sensory activity. In this case, whenever Gertrude's snout touched something, whether it's the ground, or some food, or someone's hand, you'd see spikes in brain activity associated with the sensations in her snout. So they showed that they can read brain activity live and wirelessly with an implant that was in a pig's brain for two months, where it got banged around and headbutted a lot more than the average human being would be. So it's pretty sturdy. Elon also let it slip that they got a monkey to control a computer with its brain, but they haven't shared any details or evidence of that. I'm guessing not all the animal research is as photogenic as Gertrude. So I hope there's news about human trials soon. But Elon wants to go way beyond treating paralysis. He wants us to become cyborgs. He says we need to so we can communicate with AI before it takes over the world. And I don't think that's totally crazy, but that's another video. For now, the question is, could we really become cyborgs? Well, you might already be more of a cyborg than you realize. You probably have a phone that gives you superhuman navigation skills. It lets you remember conversations and events in way more detail than you normally would, even if you were never there. You can think of your phone as an extension of your mind. But it's weird to think of it that way, because it's outside your body, and you have to type with your thumbs, which is really slow, and it doesn't feel like it's a part of your mind. But imagine you had a Neuralink in your motor cortex so that you could just think of the word you want to type and it would type automatically into your phone. And eventually, they'll be able to stimulate your visual cortex to create images in your visual field. You'd get another Neuralink somewhere around the back of your head for that. And with that, you could read your vital signs like in a video game and control your music, which would still come through your headphones for a while until they come out with the auditory cortex Neuralink. That one would probably go right here above your ears, and that would let you hear music with no headphones needed. It'd go right into your brain. And maybe by then, we'll all realize that we've gradually been turning into cyborgs this whole time. So, will Neuralink let us merge with AI and avoid the apocalypse? I don't know but it has real potential as a medical device. And right now, they can only plug into the surface of the brain, called the cortex, which basically has the brain's input and output ports for sensory and motor messages. But if they go deeper into the brain, which they plan to do, that opens up new possibilities for treating everything from Parkinson's to blindness to memory loss to obsessive-compulsive disorder, anxiety, depression. And that's when things could get really weird. If you can mess with these deep brain areas, you could directly change your mental state in ways that we can't even begin to predict yet. 
At a bare minimum, you could tell your brain to squirt dopamine whenever you want. So if you thought Juul was addictive, wait until you try NeuraJuul. And you could stimulate your hippocampus and maybe access long-lost memories. Or tap into the creativity that's trapped in your brain without having to learn how to paint or use Ableton. And Neuralink is really determined to make this into a consumer product with an app store and everything. That's one of the benefits of their surgical robot. It makes the surgery a lot safer and easier to scale up for wide distribution. And brain surgery isn't as big a deal as you might think. You can't feel your brain, so you can even stay awake for a lot of brain surgeries. So one day, you might get to choose between spending your Christmas bonus on LASIK or Neuralink. And you're probably going to pick Neuralink so you can robot arm wrestle with a monkey. So, what else do you want to know about brain implants? Let me know in the comments. If you're hooked up to one right now, give this a Neuralike, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff. Bye bye